Hello guys, how are you doing? Hola chicos, ¿cómo van las cosas? I hope well. Espero que muy bien. The class of today is a reading comprehension. La clase de hoy es una comprensión lectora. Today we are going to read a text about a girl and we are going to see where does she live, what are her routines and her likes and dislikes. Eh, vamos a leer un texto sobre una chica y vamos a ver dónde vive, cuáles son sus rutinas y cuáles son sus gustos y lo que no le gusta tanto. So, let's start. Vamos a empezar. This is Mary. She's 11. She's got long brown hair and brown eyes. Her ears are small and her cheeks are chubby. She gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning, has a shower, gets dressed and has breakfast. She usually has a toast and coffee. She doesn't like cheese. Then the girl goes to school. She travels by bus. She has lunch at school with her friends. They sometimes have pizza and milkshake. After the lessons, they play in the park and they like flying a kite. Mary goes home at 5 p.m. She has dinner with her mother and father. Her mother likes cooking. Mary goes to bed at 10 p.m. The girl lives in the city. There is a swimming pool next to her house, but her school is far. There are lots of shops and supermarkets in her street. There is a cafe behind her house and Mary goes there at the weekend with her family. There is a market in front of her house. There are a lot of fruit. She likes eating watermelons and mangoes, but she doesn't like grapes. She likes vegetables. Now the girl is in her bedroom. It's big. There are two windows. There is a wardrobe in the room and there is her desk next to the, the window. There is a chair next to her desk. Now her room is a mess. There are her jeans on the floor and there is one shock on the sofa and one shock on the lamp. Her mother is hungry. She says, you can go to the bar. Please tidy up your room. Put those jeans in the wardrobe and find the shocks. Mary likes doing athletics and playing table tennis. Going swimming is fun, but she doesn't like playing basketball. She is very short. In the summer, Mary would like to go camping with her grandfather. She wouldn't like to help her grandmother in the garden. It's boring. Ok, we have finished the text. Vale, hemos terminado el texto. And you have to translate. Vale, y lo tenéis que traducir para poder hacer estas preguntas. Ok. In this paragraph, you have to write yes or no. En esta parte tenéis que... Eh, contestar sí o no. Por ejemplo, number one. Vale, número uno. Mari tiene eh, el pelo corto y marrón. Vale. Number two. Sí, ella toma café y tostadas para desayunar. Number three. Eh, los chicos no toman pizza para comer. Number four. Su escuela está cerca de su casa. Number five. Hay una cafetería enfrente de su casa. Number six. A Mari le gustan los mangos, pero no come mm, sandía. Number seven, hay un escritorio detrás del armario en su habitación. Number eight, su habitación es un desastre. Number nine, there is one shock under the sofa. Hay un eh, calcetín debajo del sofá. Number ten, su madre tiene miedo porque esto es un desastre. Number eleven, she doesn't like playing basketball. No le gusta jugar a básquet. And number twelve, le gustaría ir de camping con su abuelo. Ok, uh, and here you have to answer yes or no. And now we go to the choose the right answer, ¿vale? Aquí tenemos que elegir entre tres opciones, A, B o C. Number one, la chica se levanta y tenemos las tres opciones, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock o 9 o'clock. And we have to choose one of them, ¿vale? Number two, ella va a la escuela by car, helicopter o bus, ¿vale? Number three, there is a mm, supermarket, café o swimming pool next to her house. Number four, eh, a Mary no le gusta comer pues, sandía, patatas o uvas. Number five. Hay una silla next to her desk, behind the wardrobe o under the, her desk. And number six. The girl's mother asks the girl, la, la madre de la chica le, le pregunta, o sea, le pide que to find the jeans, to go to the park o to clean the room. So, if you have uh, read the test and you have comprehend it, you can answer. ¿Vale? Si lo habéis leído y lo habéis comprendido, pues podéis contestar sin ningún problema. Es muy fácil. 
So uh, we have finished our class. Uh, we see.